And this is my presentation over John Steinbeck's The Chrysanthemums, which was written in 1937. So, um, some historical events that were um, surrounding the writing of the chrysanthemums were um, the stock market crash of 1929, which ultimately caused the Great Depression that occurred from August 1929 to March 1933. And this was a period that was characterized by um, a lack of jobs for a lot of people in society. A lot of people lost their jobs and therefore um, there was a lot of financial instability and um, a lot of people had to ration for food and it led to a lot of uncertainty at the time um, which there are some elements of this within the chrysanthemums like when um, Elisa's husband is really excited that he just made a purchase to the meat market owners and um, ultimately World War II was only uh, occurred only two years after the writing of the chrysanthemums so um, tensions among countries involved in that were increasing during the time of the writing. John Steinbeck, the writer of The Chrysanthemums, was born in Salinas, California in 1902. In 1919, he enrolled at Stanford University and he studied writing, but um, for six years he kind of uh, was in and out of classes and he only took classes he wanted to take. So ultimately he dropped out, he did not earn a degree. And he worked several jobs, including um, a construction worker where he would lay bricks and just go from site to site. He was also a newspaper reporter and a caretaker at Lake Tahoe. And other works of his include Of Mice and Men and Grapes of Wrath, both very, um, very well-known works that um, he ultimately won a Pulitzer Prize for Grapes of Wrath in 1940, and he also won a Nobel Prize for Literature. So some of John Steinbeck's favorite themes um, throughout his works are what it means to be human, and these include um, the nature of dreams, the nature of loneliness, both which are very prevalent in the chrysanthemums. For example, when Elisa is um, watching the man in the caravan drive away. She is obviously very disappointed in um, the feeling she has of being trapped and she seems to want to go with the man after she's expressed interest um, and he declined it. And it just illustrates her lonely nature and how she's unsatisfied with her life, but she still dreams of being able to um, do these things and go out and travel and see other places. Um, another theme that John Steinbeck likes to explore is um, man's ability to be cruel. And this is illustrated in The Grapes of Wrath. It is very well known for illustrating both man's ability to be cruel and the economic injustices and powerlessness experienced by um, people. John Steinbeck grew up in a modest environment. His father um, worked several jobs. He owned a hardware store and his mother was a teacher. So he knew what it meant to have to work and not have everything um, given to him by wealth. So he, in a lot of his characters, and in, in Of Mice and Men as well, he explores um, poverty and overcoming the obstacles of being in that position. He also explores uncertainty of the future for, um, in most of his novels and short stories, um, because a lot of 
the uncertainty that comes with being poor is not knowing um, where your next meal is coming from or where your next job will be. So he um, integrates this with the nature of loneliness and the nature of dreams and wanting to have something um, greater for yourself. Specifically in the chrysanthemums, um, one criticism of this work is that Elisa is choosing to be confined in this type of lifestyle. They argue that she is capable of changing her situation, but um, because she is living a life of comfort, she decides not to pursue um, a more adventurous life. She has a very safe um, and secure situation. Her husband is able to pay for her dinner and he's just made a sale so they're financially secure and so this specific criticism is commenting on the fact that she, um, Steinbeck kind of, it could go both ways, that she is dreaming of that kind of life, but that she doesn't necessarily want to pursue it. Um, another major um, representation in the novel is the chrysanthemums themselves. They stand to represent the treatment of women during this time period, during the Great Depression era in 1940s America, and um, the most symbolic part is probably at the end where the driver has thrown out the chrysanthemums from the car, and Eliza is very disappointed because um, the chrysanthemums can be seen to represent her. She's um, very proud of the chrysanthemums. She's strong and she is capable of growth just like the chrysanthemums and when the driver takes notice of the chrysanthemums it's as if he's taking notice of her and so she's very um she gets very passionate and very enthusiastic as if um he has just noticed something about her that she hasn't had because her husband seems to ignore her and when he does acknowledge her, it's condescending and um, uh, inf infantilism. So, um, the chrysanthemums are symbolic in that way. Another symbolic aspect of the work is her clothes. In the beginning, she's described as wearing masculine clothes that are very heavy and um, she's working in the garden, so she has leather gloves and um, a very heavy corduroy apron. And at the end, she puts on a very nice dress that um, is described as making her beautiful. And this shift is kind of symbolic of the way she's now seeing herself, because the man has taken notice of her flowers and she was able to provide more than what she's been able to provide to her husband. So, um, the main theme of this, it does have underlying um, feminist tones, and Steinbeck explores the unequal um, treatment of women in this work, because Eliza is obviously more intelligent and more capable than the two men, and she seems to be ignored and trapped, um, and she seems to dream and experience the nature of loneliness that Steinbeck is famous for including in his works. Um, another theme of Steinbeck is social consciousness, so he tries to make um, real characters, not 
any character that's not relatable. He tries to make just average, sometimes, most of the time, poor people who are just um, experiencing this um, consciousness of their position in society. And oftentimes it's because of the economic injustice and powerlessness that they're feeling.